Hi Libras, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages here and there. Um, today, Libras, I am working on your general tarot card reads. Okay, I have them spread out. I do uh, three spreads here with clarifiers. Um, and also, I'm going to be using my past life oracle cards. I'm going to use this um, at the end of the reading. I love using these. These are amazing. Um, they're by Doreen, Doreen Virtue and Dr. Brian Wise, who I admire a lot. He's a hypnotherapist, among other things. Um, wonderful healer. Um, so they created these cards and I'm going to use these past life oracle cards for your reading to see what, uh, influenced this karmic relationship, soulmate, twin flame. Um, maybe we could pick up any messages that has to do with your calling, your talent, your gifts. Um, and understand that karma is something that you have to let, you have to let play out under we all have karma to pay we all have karma whether it was an action or a thought that we uh did in this life or in the past or both it's it's something that we have to let it play out because it, it is what it is you know what comes around goes what goes around comes back around right that's how it works um that is the law of the universe uh, from what i understand the spiritual law <laughs> Um, anyway, so that's that. Um, I do accept donations, so if you would love to um, help support my channel, Libras, I would appreciate it. Um, you know, and with that being said, I'm going to st uh, open up my Patreon channel soon. I'm not sure when, um, but sooner than later. Uh, and I'm very excited because um, in these Patreon, in the Patreon page that I'm creating along with my um my co-host riley we're going to load more videos um when it comes to astrology okay so understand my channel does incorporate astrology and so i love to talk more about astrology um also take one question readings and um and do birth chart readings you know i i put that in too so i'm going to um, in one of the tiers is birth chart readings. All right. So if you're interested, you know, I'll let you know when the launch date is going to be. Okay. All right. But that's just to mention a few. I'll have a lot more other things going on in the Patreon page. All right. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using my Edgar Allan Poe and I'm going to clarify it with my new mythic. Okay. First spread. Let's see. I'm going to reach all the way over there. What's going on? So I have uh, the Nine of Cups, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay. All right. So my Nine of Cups was in the reverse. It was the only reversal. So you may be dealing with somebody that has water in their chart, Libras. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, if that means anything to you. Uh, fire as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may have it in your chart doesn't have to be but um all right darling so what I see here is um, a fight um, especially when I look at my nine of cups and my five of wands um, and I don't know what type of fight this is going to be obviously it's going to be a huge disagreement my nine of cups is in the reverse okay it came out in the reverse so somebody here is not happy Um, could be both of you, could be just one of you. I, I don't know. I mean, when I look at my Ace of Wands, it feels like it's one more than the other. But uh, I also sense third party situation here, especially when I look at all both of these, actually all these three energies. Um, doesn't have to be for all of you, but I am sensing kind of like a third party. Um, Yeah, there's a there's been a disagreement for quite some time. Like when I look at my Ace of Wands, it's just maybe for some of you it could be a year for up to a year. You've kind of been, it's like something's been brewing underneath 
your skin Libras um, vice versa if it's vice versa um, all right let's clarify it all right so I have um, the seven of wands the devil and the six of wands my god um, somebody here has a strong fire placement uh, Capricorn if that means anything to you as well all right so seven of wands the devil and six of wands this is this is crazy look at that it's a continuation um you know i sense here uh, my god just to have these two together honestly to have these three together i'm picking up for some of you narcissistic behavior um now that could be pretty broad but with the six of wands it's um it's somebody who could be a manipulator um, a charmer, a liar, um, needs attention. It's like an attention hoard, if I'm saying that right. Um, maybe even codependent, you know, especially when I see these two together. Um, it, I'm picking up just for some of you, not all, but uh, I... It's like you can't take no for an answer. They can't take no for an answer. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is third party here. This is this is I don't know the seven of wands is third party for me here. Um, that's how I'm reading it in your read. Um, it's like somebody is is not in the same mood something about this somebody has like a mood disorder it doesn't necessarily have to be a disorder it could just be they're not happy at the moment i did i did pick up somebody who hasn't been happy for about a year if it's more it's more if it's less is, is less but i mean the ace of wands somebody here is like passionate for someone else yeah this is like um this is third party um it could have been an entanglement you know so you may know about it libra um if you don't it may not apply to you um if you have suspicions this may apply to you all right uh let's let's uh, move on to the next spread so the second spread i have the justice there you are libras uh justice king of pentacles page of wands and my justice was in the reverse i got the justice air energy libra gemini aquarius if that means anything to you <sighs> got the king of pentacles up in here i did say capricorn energy but it could be taurus or virgo and my page of um sorry my page of wands they, they were all in the reverse so I hope you could see that because it's like dark from where I'm coming from, from where I'm seeing it. Um, yeah, it's like somebody here broke a contract, do you know, or an agreement. Um, now, what does that mean? It could be, of course, marriage vows, you know, if you're married to someone, someone might have stepped out of the relationship. That's a contract being broken. Um, you know, <laughs> okay, if it wasn't in the contract, you mean sign that the other person could have third parties, then it's a broken contract. Um, but I do sense that, you know, that there, there's, for the majority of you, someone here hasn't been happy in a relationship, okay? Um, I do sense some type of hush-hush, though, behavior with the page of wands in the reverse, um, along with the justice card here. It's like immature uh, behavior for some of you. Um, you know, this may apply. If not, somebody may have an age difference here uh, with the Justice card and the Page of Wands. So there could be, you know, um, maybe up to 10 years difference um, in age. Doesn't have to be, but... <sighs> I It's just like immature. Somebody's just not talking. They're being quiet about their behavior. You know, like a little demon, like, 
just being little a nuisance you know it's just like their behavior somebody's behavior is um reckless bingo it's like somebody's behavior is reckless not considerate of the other person especially when i see it with my king of pentacles yeah some of you live together um were married used to live together you may have children in common doesn't have to be um some of you may even have business together or uh, invest in a property um nevertheless you know this this has a lot to do more with uh, an intimate love relationship that's really gone a little south here um to say the least let's clarify it i have the magician the ace of pentacles and the sun okay all right so i have virgo gemini uh leo if that means anything to you <sighs> well you know communication here when i look at the magician card it's it's a mercury card correct mercury is all about communication of all sorts um, public communication, um, electronics, technology, you know, internet, whatever, phone calls, publishing. Um, there's, there's like little to no communication between you and your person right now. Um, again, if, if there's communication for the most part, it's not, it's not, it's not the best communication with the seven of wands and the five of wands. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody really wants to leave the relationship. Um, I don't shuffle my uh, new mythic in the reversal. However, if I feel the energy is in the reverse, I'll let you know. The magician, I, it, the magician in the Ace of Pentacles is a reversal energy. Like my magician in the reverse to me tells me that there is, um, no focus uh there's no focal point in the relationship meaning you're not really trying to work it out somebody is not trying to work it out uh you know and this is for a lot of you this has been like a, a lot of you do live together um with the ace of pentacles but you know if, if you if you don't live together you you had a commitment with this person um you know, even if it was, you know, a year long, you know, th there was, um, it was a, 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 a meaningful relationship. Um, but I don't sense it's been a year. It's been more than that. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up nine, the number nine, nine months, nine years, nine. Something maybe will be happening March 9th. Uh, whatever. Or maybe somebody may have a birthday on the 9th. Um, see, when I, when I pick up my sun card, so the sun card is all about, you know, self-identity. So someone here got lost in a relationship, you know, Libras, you're, you're almost kind of like you and Pisces may have the same type of trait when it comes to relationships that like you'll get lost in a relationship. Um, and, and I mean, Pisces is, is a little bit more complicated <laughs> for you. Uh, Libras is not that complicated, but, um, you know, you, you, you're not selfish people is what I'm saying. You're not selfish lovers. You're not selfish family members or friends. And some of you got lost in this relationship. You question yourself a lot. But my son card here um, just tells me that you've found your, your identity. You found who you are. You may be better. You may be a better person now than who you used to be. Maybe some of you were not, I don't know, maybe struggling in some part of, of your life um, when it comes to relationship or even self, um, your self-worth. Um, and some of you realize this about yourself. And so you're no longer in, in a position or in an energy of 
of not knowing who you are any longer. And I'm not saying that you didn't know who you were. I just sense that some of you were might have been some codependent. I had I had saw that with the devil card. Um not surprising, right? Um with with Libra energy, but you know, it codependent to a fault. Not not healthy, not a healthy codependency. Um, and I think maybe you realize it about realize that about yourself. Um, some of you may be insecure in some areas of your life, and you realize that you need to fix that area, you know, or that um, that energy. That's you might have pinpointed something that that um, could be trauma for some of you. You know, like childhood trauma with the sun card. Could be you know just the fact that you were in wrong relationships maybe whether it's more than one or or just the one um you know there were relationships that you picked that you were like what what the hell am i doing um i also sense for a small group of you that you want to go back to an ex with the sun card um like the you know i had picked up like you 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 know your identity now you know you're a changed person in some shape form or other and, and maybe going back to an ex um, feels home, like home to you is what I'm hearing. Uh, okay, let's see what the third spread says, my loves. <laughs> All right. Um, so I have the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fire up in here. What is going on? Somebody has a strong fire placement. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, big time. Um, maybe Virgo, Capricorn, um, Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Um, anyway, Knight of Wands. This is crazy. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Uh, sorry, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands. So my seven of pentacles is the only one in the upright over here. Okay. Yeah, like I, when I look at the seven of pentacles, it's like the talk. <laughs> um, you know, for some of you lies, like I had picked up like somebody just lies um, earlier, but like some form of manipulation lies um illusion delusion <laughs> um you know it, i feel like libras you've been putting up with with someone's behavior with the seven of pentacles for a long time you just been like and i don't know if you're with this person or not you know because if some of you like I'm, I'm speaking to two groups of you so some of you this is your ex some of you it's um you know, it's someone that you're still with, you know, and you're having your troubles. Look at this. Um, I look at my Knight of Pentacles. You know, the 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 environment around my Nine Knight of Pentacles is crazy, because it's a home. You know, you see the fireplace, but it's like a, a, it's it's a wreck. I mean, despite I mean, okay, yeah, there's a orangutan. You know that's that's bad shit crazy right now but nonetheless the 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 home itself with the chair and the broken mirror and oh my god it's 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 chaos this is your home um if you're still living with this person if you're still and i'm sorry i don't mean to laugh but the picture makes me laugh um i don't mean to 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 laugh because it's not funny it's not a funny situation by no means um i just don't understand libra why you're in it so i, I you know i'm saying it like that and, and that sounded kind of harsh because i know some of you you know probably has been trying to get out of this relationship or it's not easy and i get that um but I feel like you're fooling yourself too. Like you, you, you may talk to yourself and you're, you're like, well, you know, maybe I could work it out. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart. It doesn't have to be, but I don't know. I'm picking up somebody with Virgo in your chart. 
If you feel like you could work it out, you have Virgo in your chart. <laughs> That's for sure. Like Venus in Virgo, Virgo rising. Um, but maybe even a moon in Virgo. But anyway, it doesn't have to be. I'm just picking that up. It's just that you're 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 fooling yourself, is what I'm saying. You wanna you wanna you wanna work things out. And the, and listen, you wanna fix things, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but I know that you don't feel that way. You it's like you're conditioned maybe to think that way. But that's not how you're feeling. Um, and then I have my Knight of Wands here that also came out in the reverse. Um, you know, some of you are dealing with somebody that, um, yeah. You know, I, I, uh, I'm i going to take out the devil card because the Knight of Wands reminds me a lot of the devil energy. Of course, the devil is not always, you know, toxic, toxic behavior or worst case, worst case scenario, somebody that really has some type of, you know, evil entity, you know, evil spirit inside of them. I am picking it up, though, with the Knight of Wands. Um, I had picked it up earlier with with the um, Page of Wands. Someone here, you know, is their behavior is not friendly, to say the least. Um, but now I'm picking it up big time with the Page. I'm sorry, with the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, I don't know who the, who this is. It's you, Libra, or the other person. Maybe both of you. Maybe it's both of you. These were both in the reverse. This is my nine. Nine of Cups was the first card to come out in the reverse. Unhappy. Somebody here is unhappy. Um, I just sense a lot of darkness around you or around your person. Um, you take that as it resonates because I'm picking up a couple of stories. One, um, somebody here is a, a, a real life magician. You know what I mean? Somebody that um, is in the, uh, I, I don't know, practices voodoo, could be voodoo, santeria, whatever. There's many names for it. But um, definitely in the craft is what I'm picking up for some of you. For for the rest of you, there's just dark, it's like a dark entity um, in someone's life. It's it's really disgusting. Um, yeah, it's... um. It's not the person, it's it's an entity or um, a spirit, an angry spirit or something. Uh, let's clarify it. You know, the spirit could be inside the person. They could be possessed right now. Um, or it just may be around your home. Uh, especially if you have, um, you know... Um, for some of you, you may have um, abuse in the home. Of, uh, I don't know. You take that as it resonates. Um, all right. To clarify it, I have Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Um... Yeah, see, somebody, this, this is a third-party situation. Somebody wants to work out a relationship, um, and I had picked somebody, like, it could be an ex, you know? Especially when I see my Eight of Pentacles here. It's like somebody wants to revisit a, a relationship. You know, um, the funny thing is, is that I have um, the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse, which means some type of rekindles, rekindle relationship, like rekindling a relationship um, or making amends, even apology, uh, being a, a, um, an apology or some, of some sort. I, I don't know. Um, you know, and then I look at the bottom of the deck um, in my Edgar Allan Poe, and it's the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> um, I'm just skipping to the bottom of the deck. But, you know, I haven't forgotten about these two energies, but... You know, I, mean, I, I just look at these two cards that were at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody wanting to, to go back to someone with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. 
Um, but when I look at the Knight of Pentacles in my Ace, Ace of Cups, it, it's it, it's I, I I do sense that you know for some of you, the the whole third party situation could be someone that may have a water placement in your chart, or Earth. All right, so um, either someone here has Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If 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 it's a third party situation, that's what I'm picking up. Um, yeah, yeah. This is very methodical. Should um, where um, what do I mean by that? Um, you know, someone here is is um, is trying to gain another friendship or relationship by any means necessary and it's strategic very strategic uh, very patient work um, somebody here is very like patient I don't know how to describe that it's like um, an energy of like you know like a magician an energy of like you know, some one thing about people that practice practices the craft or are into white or black magic, it doesn't matter. You have to have patience. You can't just be, you know, rushing magic. You don't just rush magic. You don't just rush energy. That is something that, that requires a lot of patience. And and that's what I'm picking up from someone here. That they they're patient. Um, and I don't know if this is you, Libra, or, you know, someone, um, that you know, especially if it's an ex, you know, because I am picking up a couple of stories here. For some of you, you know, if it's not you, Libra, then, then, um, then it's an ex wanting to communicate with you with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, um, meaning they want to rekindle a relationship. This person has a lot of passion for you. Um, for, for some of you, it's an ex, especially with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, I had I had felt it here somewhere else, too. I forgot where. Um, anyway, um, yeah, but there's nothing new in this energy. So I know it's not a new person wanting to come towards you. You know what I mean? Let's see what's going on in your past life, my loves. That was That was crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> what, what 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 can I pick up from your past life oracle cards for you, Libras? All right. All right, and just shuffle it. Okay. So what do I have here? I have um, love life, wars and battles, um, and at the bottom of the deck, wisdom. See, somebody's a brujo. Somebody knows magic. Somebody knows how to work with the craft. This is highly intuitive. This is a highly intuitive person. Doesn't just because you're highly intuitive doesn't mean you work with the craft. So somebody here just is just could be very highly intuitive. Um, you know, it could be this water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but um, it doesn't have to be. You don't have to be a water sign, but um, or have that in your chart. <sighs> this is this is someone that could pick up frequencies. And and, and, and and the frequency is not from this world. Um, but when I look at love life and battles, let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, wow. Um, this is someone you fought for 
in your past life. Interesting. Either they fought for you. This is interesting. Either they fought for you or you fought for them. This is someone in your past life, Libras. This person is, is a soulmate of yours first. With the love card, love life here. This is this is a soulmate energy. Meaning you you this you've crossed paths with this person, right? Um, with the mother card here, I see mother at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have children in common with this person. Doesn't have to be. Um, but there there's been battles uh, within your love life in the past. Um, wow, I sense like in one of your past life there was um the 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 battle uh, or the fight was a little out of hand it was like um and it had to do in the name of love like someone here loved the other person so much so in the past that they would do anything to keep them um and i don't know i just sent someone was um murdered and i don't know who that was um i i just sense it was more like a, a person that was trying to get to your lover libras or um a libra they 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 probably fought and killed someone for you you know not i'm not picking up that they killed you per se like you know like crimes of passion although it, it could, this could be some type of you know crime or passion where you know you know it's not a cheating situation it's more like obsessive um behavior that's see this is why the devil the devil i keep picking up the devil card between the devil card and the magician folks i your reading is a little insane somebody here is like a little it's a wild card i'm gonna say a wild card <laughs> um but like they don't they're okay with with putting their hands on someone see and i i, I kind of sense that with the knight where is it the knight of wands you see how um i don't know if you could see like there's a person on the ground here and um her hand is like right by the foot of the orangutan um it was like it was pretty dis pretty disturbing um, when I saw it, and that's why I had picked up like maybe some of you may be going through through some type of domestic abuse of some sort. Doesn't you know? Doesn't have to be physical, but it could have been maybe at one point. Um, but somebody is a little violent, you know. And I don't want I don't want to even say a little. I I'm being nice. When I say little, it it it's because I I'm trying to cover up the real situation but you know that more than me libras right no i don't know your life but um i'm just reading the message <laughs> but someone here could get pretty obsessive and um to the point where where they could snuff out people if they mess with you you know like if they mess with you um for some of you i'm picking in a past life like you moved on to, uh, to someone else and they didn't like that they snuffed them right out and you knew about it and there's nothing you could have done about it when i mean snuff i mean like take out you know from the physical realm from existence kill k-i-l-l -L. um that's that's crazy libras I don't know who this person is to you, whether it's a current lover or an ex. I don't know if this is you. Um, this is a repetitive pattern um, when it comes to your love life. This whole war situation, battle situation. And listen, I know that the whole past life may not, um, is not for all of you. That that's a given number one number two some of you don't even remember your past life right most of you don't um i'm just picking up that message from the oracle cards 
but truth be told, if there is someone here with a violent behavior, they, 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 this is a repetitive cycle for them in more than one or two lifetimes. This is a repetitive cycle, this energy. This violent, obsessive need to control behavior. All right, I'm over you, Libras. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to do your love reads um, sooner than later, Libras. But if you're looking for the one that I did before, um, you know, for um, the month of uh, I want to say February. I think I started doing the love reads early February, if not late January. They're there. So if you're looking for them, they're there. I also have private readings and personal reads personal private readings, private readings, whatever. Um, you know, all that information will be in the description box. All right. Love you. Bye.